Good morning, everybody. This is day four of our devotional uh, series, and today's is titled, When Sharks Won't Bite. <clears throat> we don't have any prayer requests, so um, we'll just move forward. Scripture is from Proverbs 27, 1 through 10. Don't brag about tomorrow, since you don't know what the day will bring. Let someone else praise you, not your own mouth. A stranger, not your own lips. A stone is heavy and sand is weighty, but the resentment caused by a fool is even heavier. Anger is cruel and a wrath is like a flood, but jealousy is even more dangerous. An open rebuke is better than hidden love. Wounds from a sincere friend are better than many kisses from an enemy. A person who is full refuses honey, but even bitter food tastes sweet to the hungry. A person who strays from home is like a bird that strays from its nest. The heart fat the heartfelt counsel of a friend is as sweet as is as sweet as perfume and incense. Never abandon a friend, either yours or your father's. When disaster strikes, you won't have to ask your brother for assistance. It's better to go to a neighbor than to a brother who lives far away. <clears throat> my children were thrilled but i felt uneasy during a vacation we visited an aquarium where people could pet small sharks kept in a special tank when i asked the attendant if the creatures ever snapped at fingers she explained that the sharks had recently been fed and then given extra food they wouldn't bite because they weren't hungry what I learned about shark petting makes sense according to a proverb. One who is full loathes honey from the comb, but to the hungry, even what is bitter tastes sweet. Hunger, that sense of inner emptiness, can weaken our discernment as we make decisions. It concerns us that it's okay it, con oh, it concerns us, sorry. It convinces us that it's okay to settle for anything that fills us up, even if it causes us to take a bite out of somebody. God wants more for us than a life lived at the mercy of our appetites. He wants us to be filled with Christ's love so that everything we do flows from the peace and stability he provides. The constant awareness that we're unconditionally loved gives us confidence. It enables us to be selective as we consider the sweet things in life, achievements, possessions, and relationships. Only a relationship with Jesus gives true satisfaction. May we grasp his incredible love for us so that we can be filled to the measure with all the fullness of God for our sake and the sake of others. What are you most hungry for in life? Why does Jesus fulfill you in a way that nothing else can? Those who see Jesus as the bread of life will never be hungry.
Thank you for listening. Um, again, if uh, anybody has any prayer requests, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I will see you for day five tomorrow for our devotions. Have a good day, everybody.